The Bears battled adversity all year, but after winning their final three games to close out the season, Tech is headed to the ECC tournament as the three seed. Yeah, I mean, we've been knocking on the door for a few weeks now. Uh, we've had chances against real strong opponents. And the last three games, we kind of put it together. Um, especially the last game, we played really well in the goal. The Bears will take on heated rival LIU Post with a trip to the finals on the line. The Pioneers are led by William Shelders and Jake Gillis, the two leading goal scorers in the ECC. They have a lot of weapons. We're going to have to limit their uh, weapons. We know who they are. We know who they got. And uh, defensively, we just got to play a hard 60 minutes of the cross. With the Bears riding a three-game winning streak, Tech seems to be clicking at just the right time. But uh, definitely these last few games that we've been able to pull out a win streak with, we're going to come out looking pretty hot and uh, ready to go. Yeah, I think this is a really good time to come to fruition, you know, really figure things out. And, uh, you know, we're breathing new life into us with this postseason uh, berth. So. We started getting uh, some of the injured guys back, uh, especially on the defensive side. We're getting Nick DeLuca and Frank Callen playing more. Um, so the, the defensive uh, unit has been more cohesive in the last few games. The Pioneers defeated the Bears 17-14 in the only meeting between the two teams this year. But if they just clean up the small things, Coach Dunn likes their chances. Our guys are real confident. I mean, we gave them three really easy chances, I think. Uh, without that, we're in overtime. Uh, we scored 14 goals. 14 goals, you should be good enough to win the game. The Bears will look to get even in what could be the final meeting ever of the Battle of the Boulevard. Reporting for the New York Tech Bears, I'm John Piersos.